Hey, Cape Girl, Patrolman Newton here with your weekly update. We've got some exciting events coming up that we want to share with you, and hopefully you can come out and be a part of them as well. So on March 28th, from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., we're going to have Coffee with the Cop, and it's going to be right here at the police department. Uh, Ziggy's Coffee is going to be providing the coffee for everybody, and at 9.30, we're going to do a tour of our police department. So if you've never seen our department, come out, enjoy a cup of coffee, hang out with your officers, and then get a tour at 9.30 of our entire building. It's still a little ways out, but on August the 6th is our National Night Out this year. It's going to be held at Arena Park, and this is a great opportunity for the community to come together with the police for a fun evening. We have a lot of games and activities planned, and stay tuned as more information becomes available. We can't wait to get everyone together again this year. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor for this event, just shoot me an email. I can get you all the information you need. And last year we had over 400 people attend our event and we're hoping to grow that even more this year. So put it on your calendar, make plans to be out there. It's an incredible opportunity to do some networking with the community and get to know your neighbors a little better. So your officers have been extremely busy this week. On March the 9th at about 1.30 a.m., an officer attempted to conduct a traffic stop on a vehicle near Merriweather and Park for a traffic violation. The vehicle failed to stop for the officer and led the officer on a short pursuit. The vehicle eventually stopped and the driver, Stephen Hempstead, 43 of Cape Girardeau, exited the vehicle and began running from the officer. The officer was able to catch Hempstead in the 100 block of Southwest End Boulevard and take him into custody. While searching his pockets, the officer located two baggies of suspected crack cocaine that weighed approximately 21 grams along with a large sum of money. Hempstead was formally charged with the Cape Girardeau County Prosecutor's Office with Class C felony of delivery of a controlled substance and Class A misdemeanor of resisting a lawful detention. Hempstead was issued a $30,000 cash surety bond. Great job to that officer at getting the illegal narcotics off the streets and getting him into custody as well. On March 10th at about 9 p.m., officers responded to the 20 inner block of Themis for a report of shots fired. During the investigation, officers quickly identified two suspects in this incident, Gerard Willis, 29 of Cape Dorado, and Cadicia Will Willis, 29 of Cape Dorado. The Cape Dorado County Prosecutor's Office formally charged both Gerard and Cadicia with Class B felony of assault in the first degree, felony armed criminal action, Class E felony of unlawful use of a weapon, and both suspects are currently being held on a 100000 cash-only bond. Great work to the officers and the detectives that handled that case and quickly got two dangerous suspects off the streets. Your weekly reports can be from March 7th to the 13th. Your officers conducted 107 written reports. They had 24 arrests, and 11 of those were fugitive warrant arrests. They worked 23 motor vehicle crashes and conduct 139 traffic stops. The weather looks great over the weekend, so get out, enjoy some sunshine, enjoy the warmer weather, stay safe, and we'll see you next week.